Hi everyone, um, welcome to yet another video where we are going to learn about the number one killer, silent killer at that, of chicks in the broader. My name is Dr. Dorothy Nampanzira Kalile. I am a teacher of poetry, but I'm also a farmer. So what I'm going to share with you is very pertinent. Have you ever wondered, you bring your chicks from a very clean source, at least one you are sure of, you have very good quality feeds, you have properly cleaned and disinfected your brooder. In other words, according to you, you think you, you are at the right standing such that your chicks do not die. But even through all that, your chicks continue dying. Have you ever wondered why? Friends, there is a silent killer that has been killing chicks in the brooder that many of us ignore. And yet it causes many or multiple of losses in the breeding system. So what is the silent killer? Or what causes it? What causes this silent killer is litter. Do you know litter? I believe all of us know litter. Litter is this material that we use to, to cover the floor to ensure that the birds do not get cold from the floor. Sometimes we use wood shavings, we can use coffee husks, or we can use rice husks. This litter material that is used, especially in deep litter systems, is a waste product of another product. For example, the wood shavings are gotten after they have removed them from furniture, or from wood or, or timber. That is when we get the wood shavings. For the coffee, coffee husks, after they remove the coffee seeds, the coffee husks are byproducts. That byproduct is what we use as litter. For the rice husks, after they remove the rice seed from the husk, they then throw away that rice husk. That product that is a waste product for these other people is what we call litter. In most cases, this byproduct is kept outside. It is not properly stored. Now, when this was when this this has uh, stored outside. Many times they are hit by rain and they become damp. When we are preparing our brooder and we use this material to lay the brooder, we have to ensure that it is dry. Now every time you bring this material and it is damp, you are, you are looking forward or you are going to bring a condition that is going to kill your birds. Now, can you imagine you bring this litter and it is damp? And then in the brooder, you have heat. You know we have heat sources, remember? For example, if you don't know how to prepare a brooder, you can look at one of our videos in preparation of a brooder. Now, when you have heat in this brooder, and then you have the damp litter, or the wet litter, or the litter that is not very dry, molds are likely to grow or molds will grow because molds grow in conditions that are damp in nature now when molds grow on this litter and remember you have your chicks on this litter they will produce pores you know those whitish material those pores now those pores they will circulate in the atmosphere of the chicks the chicks will inhale these pores when they inhale those pores from the molds they'll get a condition called aspergillosis. I repeat, the condition is called aspergillosis. Aspergillosis is a condition that we get from moldy surfaces. When the chickens inhale the pores from the molds, this condition called aspergillosis, how does it present? By the way, before I tell you how it presents, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel such that you can get notifications when we have new videos. Okay. You can subscribe, you can like, you can comment on this video and tell us how best we can improve or which topic you want us to explain more about. But back to the topic. When the chicks inhale these pores, aspergillosis is a condition that affects the, the respiratory system of the, of the bird. How does it present? The chicks will have difficult breathing. They will breathe very fast, you know? with difficulty. Two, they will gasp for air. So the gasping will be silent. Oh. 
that is gasping for air. The chicks will lose appetite. They will become drowsy. And in acute conditions, when it is really very bad, they will be discharged from the eyes. Now, aspergillosis, how can we treat? Is there a treatment? No. There is no treatment for aspergillosis. When the birds have aspergillosis, they die at a very fast rate. And this condition easily spreads into the flock. But the spreading is not from bird to bird. The spreading of this disease is gotten from the spores. Every time a bird inhales the spores, it gets aspergillosis. Every time a bird is, inhales these spores, it gets aspergillosis. So even if you bring any other treatment and you treat, as long as it's still in this condition, the birds will continue to die. So how do we prevent aspergillosis? There's only one way to prevent it. You should always provide dry, good quality litter. In case you do not know or you're not sure of how dry it is, you can get litter and you spread it out in the sunshine. Allow it to dry before you can put it in your brooder or before you can bring your chicks. Friends, aspergillosis causes death and many at times as farmers, we continue treating with all sorts of antibiotics but the, but, the, but the chicks continue dying and dying and I can assure you they can die and then to the end. So. Remember I told you it also causes inappetence. So the chicks also stunt. They get stunted. Remember they are sick. They are not eating. They get stunted. And by the time you know what the problem is, you have already made losses.